Come here. Oh, are you sitting in the boobs? Is that where you want to sit? Right there? Okay. You can sit there as you can. So today I want to talk about something that I have gone through non-stop for the past well, a few days or whatever. As a lot of you guys know, I was in India, which was crazy and awesome and quite the life experience. Um, but in order to get there and in order to get back, I had to do a lot of hanging out at the airport, which for those of you that are normal human beings like me is a complete fucking nightmare. Now I know this subject has been beat to death. Like people have said everything there is to say about it, but you know what? I'm gonna fucking say it. First thing I have a problem with is bitches walking through the security line decked out in every kind of metal there is. I'm sorry, did you not know that you were getting on an airplane today? Did you not think about the fact that you were gonna have to go through security and a metal detector? When I go to the airport, I'm wearing like leggings, a shirt, and maybe like a sweatshirt. You know, sorry I didn't take the time to put on every bracelet that I own, my Gucci belt, my sunglasses, like a metal headband made out of pure spikes and like jewelry out the ass. I didn't put $25 worth of change in my pocket and I'm holding on to like 800 metal things. Cause you know what happens? You walk in the airport looking like a complete fucking asshole. We can all pick you out of the crowd. You're walking in your heels. You got your little bag. Oh, oh my God, I'm so hot, so fucking hot. Look at me, I'm going on an airplane. And then we all wait for six hours to get through security while you walk back and forth through the metal detector. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, sorry, I forgot to take this off. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, sorry, I forgot to. Oh, beep, beep. Motherfucker. Then instead of getting your stuff in your little tray and moving somewhere else to put it back on, you stand right there and you put it all on while we all stand there and fucking wait. Sorry that I have to wait 20 minutes for you to put your shit on because all I need is my turtle backpack and my fucking shoes so I can get to my plane. And you know who I blame this on? I blame fucking Victoria Beckham and every bitch just like her that makes people think that they need to be all dressed up to go to the airport. Because let me fucking tell you something about Victoria Beckham. She needs to calm the fuck down. It's not like she's flying from London to Paris or some shit. She's like flying all over the world. She's flying for like 10 hour flights. I just did that flight from London to LA. And guess what? It takes 10 fucking hours for someone to sit in their heels and their mad uncomfortable looking outfit. Like it looks like it's squeezing her in all the places you don't want to be squeezed for 10 hours. That does not make you stylish. Okay. That doesn't make you the jump off. That doesn't make you a hot bitch. That doesn't make you a big fucking deal. It makes you a goddamn idiot. Nothing says I have an IQ lower than 45 quite like wearing fucking six inch heels to the airport. Because guess what, bitch? You're not going anywhere important because you're sitting next to me in fucking economy and coach with the plebeians. And the best thing is when, when they do the safety thing, they tell you, oh, you know, in the case of an emergency and the raft comes out or whatever, you pull the lever and the fucking raft comes out. You have to take off your heels because they tear the raft open. Let's all just think about that for a second. The fact that someone actually had to slide down an emergency raft in heels to tear it for everyone else in order for them to put that in the safety video. Can you imagine being behind that fucking asshole? Your plane just landed into water and the emergency raft comes out. The slide and some fucking bitch in heels slid down it in her heels and tore it open. Fucking bitch. I'll be damned that that happens to me. Mm-mm. That bitch is the first one getting tossed right off that life raft. No one is coming to save you. Drown, bitch. In fact, after I pencil dive into the water from the plane and swim my way to the raft because no one can slide there because you wrecked the fucking slide, I'm gonna make sure that I take both my hands on top of your head and drown you in international water so no one can fucking find you ever again. How are your giant heels doing now, huh? How are all those bracelets? Huh? How's that all that fucking metal doing now? Are you drowning? Fucking super! Glad you got all dressed up for your date with death with the fucking ocean. Oh, sorry, our plane crashed and no one can fucking get out of the water because fancy bitch over there fucking broke the slide and no one can get out. We all explode in the, in the ocean. But she's okay, thank fucking God. I bet you never thought about that, did you? That that bitch would be the last thing that you ever saw before you exploded inside a plane because you couldn't get out. Ugh. So next time you think about putting on your little fucking heels, your little fucking crazy stupid outfit for the airport, just think about the rest of us dying because of your stupid fashion choices, all right? Because I know that if you're stupid enough to wear that on a plane at the airport, that you're stupid enough to not pay attention to the safety procedures in the event of an emergency and you kill the rest of us. 
in your dumbass fucking outfit. Because let me tell you, if I see you and that plane's going down, I will make sure that I punch you unconscious before you kill everyone else. And do you see what's happening here? It's now gotten dark. That's why the lights now change because I am determined to finish this video to all the girls out there. Stop dressing like fucking assholes. Stop it. And what's ridiculous is that I just made a five minute long video about what bitches wear at the airport when I could make a fucking three day long video about the rest of the things that pissed me off at the airport. But I realized that I got the bitches on lock. Daps, bitches. And I'm hoping that you'll fucking listen to me. Stop wearing that shit, right? So the rest of us can live and, you know, come home to our dogs and stuff and not die in the middle of the ocean somewhere. Watching you wave goodbye to us from your fucking rap, I'll say. Bitch. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every Wednesday. Yeah. Marbles. Fuck yeah. Doesn't want to crash in a plane. Yeah, Marbles. Likes to live his life and fuck all the ho-hos. Bye, Spider-Man. Ah, ho -ho.